Hi there, I'm back with Prachi in her office and we are discussing all things about stress and how you can manage your stress. Uh, we have shared in the previous episode tips that you can use to manage stress in your life. So today uh, it's a Q&A session. I have a lot of questions that you guys have asked me. Although uh, most of them are common, I will pick a few which are different which is something that we've not already covered and we're going to be talking about those questions. Hi everyone, once again. Aparna, thank you so much for having me over on your channel one more time. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure to be with you, like I said before. Alright, so let's get started. Is slowing down important for managing stress? Okay, so according to me, knowing is more important than slowing. Meaning, if you know the reason behind your actions and your thoughts and your behaviors, mm. slowing down is neither necessary nor important. So once again, I would say knowing what you're doing is more important than slowing down. What is the first step that we would need to take in order to uh, reduce stress in our life? This again starts with a couple of questions. Mm. The first question that anyone can ask themselves is How do I feel about myself, my health, my career, my relationships? Right. Now, if the answer to all these questions is I feel fantastic, then congratulations, you don't need stress management. Mm. But if the answer to this is no for one or more areas of the rather the areas which I mentioned before, then you can ask yourself the second question. That is, what do I need to do in order to reduce the stress? Can I surf online? Because there are hundreds and thousands of techniques which are surf, which are there online available nowadays. So can I just surf or can I talk to a friend mm. or a relative? Or, or a do coach. I need yeah, mm. or a coach? Or do I need professional help? Mm. So the first step to reduce your stress is becoming aware that I have stress and that I need help to manage my stress. Right. That is so I think thing. asking the questions is really important, right? Yes. It is asking the right questions. Yes. It important. is part of the self-coaching model where you are sort of uh, looking for answers and uh, based on the answers then you can take the next steps. Yes. Uh, the, the question that you said, am I happy with what I do or am I happy with my relationships? If it is a no, then you have to go to why. So yes, you know why is it so? Why is it that you do, are not happy in what you can do about it? What is the best way to manage your emotions when you are stressed out? Right. So first and foremost, let us understand that stress is going to affect you mentally, physically, and emotionally. Right. <laughs> Once you know you are stressed out and it's affecting you emotionally, I'll tell you what has to be done. Meditation, Reiki healing music therapy or any form of physical exercise will help you balance your emotions so that you don't feel so much emotionally affected when you're dealing with stress okay and i think music is something that is very common right it is easy to do yes it is easy to do and here when i say music therapy i'm actually referring to the music which has sound therapy some special frequencies at the same time energy healing so it actually is a therapy it's your medicine that you have to listen to it on a daily basis. Okay. Make it a part of your life, integral part of your life. To All right. Life. Awesome. How do you handle stress that is beyond our control? So there are a lot of stress that comes from outside, right? Like you right. lose somebody who's your uh, yes. part of your family or your mourning or even the loss of your pet, right? Uh, that there is no that that stress is bound to happen, but it is not in your control. Like you, there's nothing you can do. But you are going through a lot of emotional tsunami. So uh, how do you manage yourself at that time? Stress management is required when things are beyond your control because if things were in your control, only a minor change in thoughts, actions mm. and your behavior is going to help you manage it. Right. But here we are talking about things which are totally beyond your control and that's the reason you seriously have to consider stress management. Right. Journaling plays a very very important role in this. Talking therapy, like talking to your best friend, talking to your relative, talking to your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, a therapist. Mm -hmm. So talking, talking helps a lot. Right. And then if you feel that there are a lot of things which are happening for a long time, very very long time, and there's a lot of junk which is there inside of you. Mm -hmm. So here I'm referring to the emotional junk that all of us carry throughout our lives. Right. 
then it is better to seek professional help because then that person will take you through several exercises and clean the emotional junk that you're carrying so that you become a clean slate mm. you know and then you start becoming happy confident peaceful naturally you don't even need efforts for that right um, and this i think uh, is a question which even i have uh, uh, which a lot of my friends especially ladies mm -hmm. uh, have because they do multiple things right so can multitasking be stressful how much multitasking can we do without getting too stressed all the answers which i think i'm giving start with a question okay so in case of multitasking also we need to ask ourselves a question that is it necessary and what am i going to achieve by doing this mm -hmm. for example if i'm sitting with you right now for an interview at the same time i have an ipad in my hand where i'm trying to prepare a presentation i'm fiddling with my mobile once in a while to check if i have any business emails mm -hmm. i'm also attending some phone calls which are both personal as personal as well as professional you know mm -hmm. and then i'm not able to give you the answer properly right what am i achieving in this poor impression she will never invite me again to her studio she will never come down to my office right right now if this same thing i'm doing on a normal regular working day then it is okay that i'm preparing a presentation at the same time i'm answering emails i'm answering phone calls i'm signing some checks i'm talking to my assistants to my colleagues to my receptionist all this is okay because mm -hmm. there is no error Right. Now, when you should avoid multitasking, we'll come to that. Yeah. If you are driving, avoid texting. That is multitasking, yes. which nowadays is becoming a very, very common thing. You know, you drive, you text. No, dangerous. Dangerous. If you are preparing, if you are working on a very, very important report or a presentation, which demands hundred percent attention because there's a lot of detailing which is required in that. And if you multitask that time, you're talking to a friend, you're talking to a colleague, you're chit chatting, you're just doing social media, media, social media, checking your Facebook, and then you commit errors in the, those reports, which are very very important. Mm -hmm. Then it can actually cost you your career. So right. every time you think about multitasking, ask yourself these two questions: Why am I doing this? And what am I going to achieve by doing this? And also time, right? So if you have enough time, then maybe you shouldn't get into the multitasking. I think multitasking starts off when you have too many things to do and too little time. So if you're able to manage your time better and say that okay, there are only X number of things I will do in this time, I'm guilty to it. I don't have time, <laughs> but because I I feel like very greedy. I want to do a lot of things. And you know, sometimes what happens? Your multitasking is actually stressing people around you out. It's not you, but it's them because. you're not giving them attention you're not paying attention to what you're saying it's mm -hmm. not about their attention it's actually paying attention to what they're saying and sometimes you just answer vaguely to people and they're like what what and why correct you know okay how do you manage stress when you are a working woman who has a 9 to 5 job and has to come home and handle everything at home kids etc there are two things actually that are required one is proper planning and second is time management right if these two things are in place you can manage anything and everything all types of tasks personal as well as professional right and uh, actually i wanted to add a little bit on this a um, lot of times we waste time thinking about too many things to do oh my god i have to do this oh my god so the moment you get out and start doing it the the fact that you're sitting and complaining will go away and that's It's like, why are you sitting and complaining when you don't have time? You're saying, well, I don't have time, but then you have time to crib about it, but not time to go and do the thing. Time to do it, right? So, exactly. so you may want to check on the kind of uh, self talk you're having. What is the thing that you're telling yourself? And the moment you start saying, "Oh God," then it starts becoming dreadful. If you just get over and done with, but not give it too much of thought, you'll actually get things done. Right? that's my opinion <laughs> all right so we'll move on to the next question which is how can we relieve mental stress in an emergency so this question is asked to me quite often even even when uh, there are public seminars even that time so one thing i have i think mentioned multiple times that is music therapy you have your audio in place you just plug in listen to that music for 10 minutes that the rush which is there of the emotions that will subside okay. right and the second thing you can do is you can play keep flower remedies with you so flower remedies are 
the the bark flower bark bark flower yeah bark flower bark flower okay. yeah a lot of people call it bark flower god knows why but it's actually bark flower remedies okay so you can carry rescue remedy with you so as the name suggests it is for rescuing you any kind of emergency it's going to help okay so these are alternative types of uh, healing right yes yes all of them okay so they actually heal the negative emotions which are there inside our mind mm-hmm. and you feel a sense of calm so once you feel that sense of calm and peace you will be able to take right decisions mm-hmm. during that emotions because right. sometimes lot of things depend on your choices and decision making correct especially in emergencies yes. how do you especially, bring the whole thing? especially in the emergency yeah. how is how can my kids cope with the stress of studies exams etc and we are heading to the exam season yes. and i think this is the this is the question that all moms have Uh, all parents have I'll, i'll correct myself this is what every parent will have so yes there's a lot of stress for kids on kids there is a lot of stress on kids so as a parent as a parent if you ask me this question i would say that please be their support don't compare them to other children don't compare them to you know what others are doing better and how bad they are don't say that that's the last thing a child wants to hear from their parent be their support whatever happens in their world you should be the first people they feel like telling going everything. to you know yes. going to you should be their go to person that is the first thing second thing there are lots of meditation based techniques which can be used by children okay. and believe me if they you put them in a habit of meditation at a, such a early stage mm. it's going to show wonders and they will everything about their life is going to change so there's walking meditation there's gratitude once again then they can journal then they can do creative visualization now this is a technique which uh, which is very famous amongst my clients who are students so what i make them do is imagine as if they are writing their paper mm. on a daily basis they are writing their paper mm. just feel become aware of what is happening inside of you and once you condition your mind so much and your brain as well to that process then that actual process becomes very easy because they are habituated to writing exam mm-hmm. it is that kind of thing so okay. okay. so it increases their confidence it increases their memory concentration focus and they will look forward to writing exams nice how do you handle stress during a breakup uh, i get this question a lot from youngsters that uh, how do you handle breakup you know mm-hmm. and i have shared these kind of techniques and many more solutions in my books like goodbye to stress so it will definitely help you a lot but if i have to tell you something they actually asked me that should i be in touch with that person or not okay so i my answer is if you're serious about the breakup take a break of one year you don't need to be in touch with that person one year time give yourself one year but then if you are not so sure that okay i may may not i'm just waiting for him to change and waiting for her to change then just go with the flow yeah it's what you want it's what you feel actually yes all right it's actually going back to the first question where you say that you do a little bit of self coaching and ask yourself those questions and then accordingly take decisions all right thank you so very much again rachi's book uh, say goodbye to stress 60 days 60 simple solutions is uh online you can actually download the ebook uh, from wherever you are uh the link is provided in the description below and if you want to reach out to her you can find her details also in the description below uh if you want to reach out to me then you know what to do you can you can leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, also or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that i am in If you have any further questions for Prachi, again you can reach out to her. Her email ID is delkeymasterprachi@gmail.com. You'll find it in the description below. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video resourceful. Do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you next week. Bye.